What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to recover your data from your iOS device using a program called Old Data created by Tenorshare. This program is available on the Tenorshare website. Anyways, this program allows you to recover data directly from your iOS device or from an iTunes backup, and it supports 35 plus file types, SMS, contacts, photos, and stuff like that. It does support WhatsApp, Line, Kick, Fiber, WeChat, and many others, and is compatible with the latest iOS 14 and the latest devices like the iPhone SE 2020. The installation for alt data is actually pretty simple. You have to open the DMG file on your Mac, wait for it to verify, which can take a couple of seconds depending on how fast your Mac is, and then of course it's going to mount the thing. So as you can see, at this point you have the icon for alt data and the icon for applications. All you have to do is to drag it and drop it in there, and that's basically the whole procedure. You're going to have to wait for it to complete copying, and at that point you should be good. Now you should keep in mind, however, that it doesn't work with very very old macOS versions, you do need at least macOS El Capitan in order for it to work properly. I have tested it however on El Capitan, which is actually quite old at this point, and it does work pretty fine even on that old computer. So you should be fine if you have a newer Mac, like 2011 or newer. So once you get the program it looks like this, you can see it has multiple modules, one of them is for recovering data from your iOS device, the others are for recovering data from a backup that has been created by iTunes, and a thing here is that iTunes is capable to create backups, but for some bizarre reason it doesn't have any option to explore the backup after it has been created. So there is no way for you to use iTunes to extract the contents of a backup, for example only one photo from it, without having to use a third party program, which is actually quite weird, but this program can definitely do that. And then of course you can recover data from iCloud, backup and restore social media, and of course fix iOS system if it's broken. Now if you want to recover the data from an iOS device, you press in here, and of course you select the file type that you're interested in. And these can range from photos to photos and videos, contacts, messages, call history and reminders and attachments and notes and voicemail and stuff like that. So we're going to press scan in here and you're going to see how fast we can find the data. So as you can see these are the photos that were deleted from the phone but can still be recovered using this program in here. You can see here on the left that it actually shows you what kind of files have been found and how many of them. So 20 photos right now, 6 voicemails, 1 calendar entry, 3 reminders, and of course 5 contacts and 9 bookmarks for Safari. Now the contacts are all in here, the numbers seem to show properly, and then of course we have the calendar entry, which was an appointment and apparently it was recovered. Then we have the voice memos in here that we can get, and of course the Safari bookmarks and stuff like that. So definitely interesting, I'm going to select everything in here, I'm going to recover them to Mac. Select where to recover them, press open, and of course it's going to start the procedure, and at this point it's actually done. So if you want to recover your data, Data, nothing easier. So you go ahead in here, it has created a folder, and if you go to the folder in here, it has the date, and then of course you have everything including the photos and stuff like that. Pretty high resolution as well, this was made a couple of uh, hours ago, but um, yeah, the photos look definitely okay, so you would definitely be able to recover your stuff. Now as I said, this program can also recover from a backup, however I don't have a backup right now for this particular device, but if for example you're looking for a message or for a contact or whatever that you no longer have on your phone but you used to have on previous backups, you can definitely try to recover it using this in here because this one allows you to import your backups and of course to take a look inside the files and see exactly what they contain, a feature that iTunes doesn't have. If your device is broken, you can also attempt a system repair and a deep repair as well if it doesn't fix that, if the normal repair doesn't work for you, and of course you have the backup and restore social media, which are all in here. You can recover WhatsApp, you can recover Line, Kick, Viber and WeChat. So that's basically it about the program is very very easy to recover your data, a plethora of supported formats and definitely very good support. You go here on the support if you have any questions and there is a huge FAQ page available and of course the guides on how to use the program and if you can't find the information you're looking for you can definitely ask them a question, so definitely good support wise. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.